Hi guys, so I filmed this video the other day and then actually uploaded it to YouTube and then when I went to go back and do the annotations um, I realized that somehow like the last two, two and a half minutes got cut off so I could have left it up but then you wouldn't have seen like the last few products that I put up there and I was just so annoyed so I just deleted it. Um, I know it got like a few watches already in that time so I'm sorry if you think I'm uploading this twice but I just deleted the other one because it was messed up. So um, I have to go through these products really quickly. I'm um, about to go to work. Um, actually today's 80s day or like 60s to 80s day at camp so um, this is why I have like bright green hoops on and I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt and little jean cutoffs and we have to wear closed toed shoes at camp so I'm wearing these old school like pony sneakers and my eyes match my shirt so yeah anyways I'm just gonna get started the first product I got is this color s um, fade protection system it's a volumizing leave-in detangler and it's for fine thin or color treated hair which mine fits the bill for all three so um, that's why I got it. I have not tried this yet, but I've never actually even tried in a leave-in conditioner, which is, I'm assuming this is the same thing. So um, if you have, kind of like let me know. I'm assuming you put it in your hair wet, obviously. Um, and then I'm assuming you just style it regularly from there on out. But it smells really good, and I just colored my hair blue-black last week, which some of you know, and you can tell because it's different from my old videos. Um, so I'm really looking for like good color protecting things because every time I shower, still, um, there's like ink running down my body is what it looks like. Um, so the next two things I got are a shampoo and a conditioner and I found this little um, like generic section of Sally's and oh if I didn't mention it in the beginning of this video, all these things are from Sally's Beauty Supply. So I just got a shampoo and conditioner from this generic section that I found. Um, it says to compare to Paul Mitchell color protecting shampoos and conditioners, which I know Paul Mitchell is a really good well-known brand. So I got these two things. Um, it tells you like the little generic story of it on the back. And then at the bottom there's a little section that says if you're not satisfied with any of this product to return it, no matter how much is left, and you'll get your full refund. So, here's those. I did use these once this week, um, like yesterday or something, and I don't know if I was impressed yet or not. It didn't seem to lather very well, and the conditioner, I actually had to add like a, another one of my conditioners to it because it wasn't even detangling my hair, so I actually might follow that little thing on the back and return it and get a full refund. And I didn't even tell you the prices. This was $4.99. These were each $5.99. And then I got, ooh, my camera just moved. Um, I got my first liquid eyeliner. I already threw away the box, but it is Palladio Liquid Eyeliner in Black Brown. I didn't want to get straight up black because I've never really used liquid eyeliner before, so I'm a little nervous about it. This is the bottle. My friend Amanda used liquid eyeliner on me the other day when she dyed my hair and did my makeup and I really liked the way it looked on me and she said it lasts all day so I figured I'd give it a try. This is what it looks like on your hand and I actually did use this yesterday for the first time and I, I think I liked it. I mean I think I did an okay job so um, I actually recorded a little outfit of the day so I'll upload that later on today. I didn't have time to yet. I just filmed it yesterday so you can see what it looks like and you can let me know what you, how you think I did. Um, the next two things I got, oh crap, I keep forgetting the prices. This was, this was the only item not on sale that I bought, or not a bargain, and it was $5.39. I don't really know how much liquid eyeliners usually go for, probably like in the $8 range, which is nuts, but, so yeah. And then the last two things I got, there was this cute little 99 cent rack up on the, by the counter at Sally's and they had um, eyeshadows, lip glosses, lipsticks, mascaras, eyeliners, a whole bunch of things all in like little mini sizes. It was really cute. So I picked up um, two eyeshadows. They're just Sally Girl um, brand. They're baked eyeshadows. They don't have a color name on the back but I did use them a couple days ago. Actually in the original video that I filmed I was wearing these so I could have showed you. But I got one in this gold color, 
And I also got one in this like amethyst purple color. And I'm thinking to myself, like, they were 99 cents. I should have picked up a ton more, even as if they were just like gifts. I'm gonna put some on my fingers so you can see because for 99 cents, plus their baked eyeshadows, I mean, these little guys last forever. And the pigmentation for 99 cents is pretty darn good. Here's the gold. And here's the amethyst. I promise I'm not flipping you off. So yeah, as you can see, they work really, really good. And I actually used my finger to apply these. So, I mean, they come off a little lighter because I just smudge them like that. But if you really, like, rub it on your eye, they come out pretty good. You can use a brush. I just happened to use my finger because... I don't know. That's just what happened. So, um, that's it. That's all I got from Sally's. Um, if you have a Sally's, go check it out. They have pretty, some pretty good sales going on. Um, not too sure about this generic brand. Like I said, I'm probably going to return it or maybe I'll try using it one more time just to see if I really don't like it and then I'll return it. But, um, yeah, that's it. Um, hope everybody's having a great summer so far and I will see you later. Bye.